All right, so what we've got here is we're going to do a little demo on uh, how to create a cool lightning effect. And how we're going to do that is we're going to change the stage color. I'm going to change it to black or dark gray, either or. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my brush tool and I'm going to switch to a white color. And from here, I'm going to start with a very large brush size. And the idea of this is this is more of a drawing exercise. So if you have a drawing tablet, that's really great. Um, but what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and start to brush in the shape of a lightning bolt. Like so. And then press F7. And I'm just going to work my way down these brush sizes every two or so using my onion skin tool as well. And I'm going to go here. And the idea is to stay within, inside of the previous drawing, basically. So it needs to be And you know what? This zoom size with stage might be a little bit good, of a, a great tool to utilize in this particular lab. So I'm going to click that. So when I zoom in, my brush will adjust. The size will adjust with the zoom. It doesn't need to be perfect. Just try to stay inside the lines as much as possible. Uh, okay. All right, so there's another one. I will go ahead, press F7, change my brush size slightly smaller, something like that. And when we're all said and done with this, we can add some cool effects to it, such as a blur. Or, and uh, a glow to make it look more like lightning. And this is just one way of doing it. You can do it tons of different ways where um, where you like expand out like those like I, I compare it to like trees on a branch, but it's lightning. Um, if you look at like a grand old, sort of tree uh, during like winter when all the leaves have fallen off and all you're left with is just the branches and you see like a cool silhouette of it. Um, that kind of look, if you know what I mean. And here we go. And oops. Okay, press F7, and from here, I'll do one more that is a solid line, and then I'm going to go ahead and show you what to do next, and that is, we're, instead of... Um, drawing straight lines that get tinier and tinier because with the zoom we could essentially get pretty pretty tiny brush sizes um, but I'm going to stick with this brush size for now and I'm going to press F7 this is only about a 10 frame uh, animation and I'm just going to simply go in and draw these little hash marks so the line itself this is essentially how the lightning is going to fade out give or take, if you want to call it that. But um, in the end, you'll start to see that it actually is starting to uh, resemble lightning very, very well. And just trying to stay on those lines. And this is why this is a great exercise for drawing, because you're literally just sort of retracing what you've drawn earlier. And a lot of that is sort of animation in itself, 2D especially. Go ahead and press F7. And from here, 
I'm going to start these hash marks a little bit further and a little bit smaller. And what's going to happen is they're just going to start to fade out. And F7. And now I'm just going to start dotting these in. And my drawing tablet is not. I have to. There we go. And the lines obviously become shorter and more spaced and <laughs> almost there. It's probably my last pass here. All right, press command return, and that's what it is. So, on top of that, frame by frame, it ended up being nine drawings. Starts here and then simply fades out and just so you can see it a little bit better what I'll do is okay so press command return and now we've got that so the next thing we want to do is that we actually have the animation there is I'm going to delete these first 10 frames again and I'm just going to leave one frame there empty blank I'm going to copy this layer copy layer I'm going to go to my library and I'm going to create a new symbol call it lightning paste the layer we can remove the old one lightning and now I'm going to go back onto my scene one and I'm going to call this original lightning I'm going to rename a new layer I'm going to call this one uh, MC lightning and that is for movie clip because we're going to change the properties of this to a movie clip click OK and what we're gonna do on this one is I'm going to simply drag and drop it I'm gonna zoom out just so we can see it and what I'm gonna do from here is I'm gonna go to my properties and I'm gonna start messing around with some of these extra settings we have here so in the filters here in our properties tab I'm gonna hit the plus button and I'm gonna first I'm gonna add a glow now I'm going to jump up my blur, start to see it on the outer edge here. I'm going to bump up the strength and something like that. I'm going to change my quality to high. Um, and I can change the color to be whatever color I'd like. So if I went with uh, purple or dark blue in that case, maybe. Um, maybe white. So it can really be whatever. Um, blue is kind of cool. I don't know. Red was kind of cool. I'll go with white for now. And when I play it now, you'll see this one here is has the glow to it. One more thing I'm going to do to it is I want to add one more filter, and I'm going to add a blur. And I'm going to blur this out. I'm going to change the quality to high. And maybe like a 10 gives it a little bit more of a 
realism will look. But you can play around with it and get what you're looking for. You can also branch off and create that cool extra lightning um, with those uh, added sort of tree branches off the uh, mainstream lightning here. And um, that's what we got. So um, thanks for watching. I will even one more time play this with a pause so it's a little bit, it's not just looping constantly. And there you go. And that's the little lightning tutorial. Thanks for watching.